Hi and welcome everyone, Lisa from the Relativity of Paper. Today I'm going to be sharing with you a new set of die cuts from Crafting Desert Divas called Mini Shaker Clip Dies, perfect set for creating these little shakers that you see for planners. So to get us started, you're going to see here, uh, you're going to need two back panels for your shaker. The first back panel is going to be a solid piece. The second back panel that you cut is going to be used to create your front frame, just like you see I have here. Another thing you're going to need to do is cut a piece of acetate to go on the back side of that front frame. And you'll see as we're assembling this what I'm talking about. So just keep in mind, always start with two back panels and then use one of your back panels to create your front frame by cutting out a window using some sort of smaller die cut. Um, you can use both of the hearts together, you can use both of the circles together, or you can use the circle and the heart, which is what I've done here. So here are our components, our back panel with the chevron paper, and then our front frame you see there with the heart cut out, and our heart acetate. Now this is the main components of your shaker. You're just going to assemble these to create it. So what you're going to need is a really good adhesive, and I recommend Sukwain tape. It's a double-sided adhesive that you can tear with your fingers, so it makes it super simple to work with. And you just want to lay that adhesive down on that back side of that front frame. So what we're doing here is we're going to create a bond between our paper and our piece of acetate, which creates our window for our shaker. So just continue to lay the adhesive all around the front of the, uh, fr the back side of the front frame. And once you've done that, then take your acetate and lay it down on your adhesive and press really hard. You want a good bond between these pieces because you don't want your uh, shaker to fall apart on you because if you do, you're gonna have sequins flying everywhere. And when you get a little bit more comfortable with this, you can actually add glitter to these also. But you want to work a little bit with sequins first because glitter is a little bit more messy see than the sequins are. Okay, so now that we have our front frame and our acetate down that creates our window, we're ready to start adding some mounting foam to the back of that front frame. So your mounting foam is going to go right on top of that um, acetate sheet. And what you want to do is make sure that you cannot see that mounting foam at all while you're laying it down. You don't want to see it through the front side of your little shaker. So I'm going to just fast forward through this whole process here. Keep in mind when you're laying down this foam, you want it to be snug. Every piece has to fit snugly up against each other. To create. You want it to create like a dam to hold your sequins in. Now you can use one layer or you can use more. One layer, your sequins won't slide around um, like if you use two layers or more. So if you want something where your sequins are really gonna shake around in there, I suggest that you use at least two layers of this mounting foam. So go ahead and get all the layers down, as many as you choose to use. You can even use some thicker mounting foam if you want. I just use this because it's what I had on hand. Um, and once you have all that mounting foam down and you're sure that all the pieces are touching so you have no gaps there, press down really good because the bond, I cannot stress enough, is very important. So just go ahead and pour some sequins in there. How, use however much you want, however little, however much, that's completely up to you. And yes, I usually always spill my sequins. So once you have your sequins laid in, then you're going to go ahead and start peeling off the back of the, um, the back paper off of the 3D mounting foam. So take your time with this and just go slow because if you have any sudden movements or jerking, the sequins have a tendency to dance around on that acetate and um, they're like little jumping beans. They'll jump up into that adhesive and then you'll be stuck picking those out of that adhesive because you won't be able to put down your 
uh, back panel if you have any sequins on the adhesive because then it creates a gap between the back panel and the adhesive. So I was just checking which way my pattern was running on my paper and I'm grabbing that back panel now and what you want to do is line that back panel up to your front frame so that your edges are all lined up and press really good. I mean really press down so that that paper really bonds with that uh, 3D foam adhesive. Well, once you do that, you've got your little shaker created. It's just a matter of trimming this up now and getting rid of, rid of any of the foam that you see on the edges. Um, and then after that, it's just a matter of taking your hot glue gun and um, adhering your binder clip or your paper clip to the back of your mini your little mini shaker. It, it's that simple. It's not hard at all. If you have die cuts, creating mini shakers is so simple. And I'll tell you another thing about die cuts. Die cuts are great for creating stickers. You can pick up a little uh, Xyron sticker maker, and I'll link all this stuff for you so you can find it on the internet. But you can link or you can uh, use a Xyron sticker maker to create stickers with these die cuts also. So you see here, I hot glued a binder clip onto the back and I used a little bit of fun foam to put on the back of my uh, shaker there so that it would lay a little bit um, flatter. You know, it wouldn't, it would be laying even on my paper instead of poking up. So um, it's just that simple. Paper clips are going to actually let you have your mini shaker sticking out of the top of your uh, planner if you want people to see it. Uh, binders will not give you that option. Just keep that in mind. So for this particular one, I actually cut, when I was die cutting, I cut three back panels so that I could use the third back panel to actually cover part of the paper clip up. So, <clears throat> That's how you create these little mini shakers. Super simple. Just take your time with it. Give it a couple of goes and you'll have it perfected. I promise. I hope you enjoyed these videos and keep an eye out. I'll be creating more for you. Thanks and have a great night.